And we're back. Let's get you guys back up and try not to cut you off this time. All right, zoom in a bit because I need a little bit more space. No, don't look at me. Turn around. Thank you, Harley. <laughs> oh, one of those days. I think everyone's had one of those days with scopes. Never mind. All right, get you back, guys back to where you need to be. And I will find out where I need to be again. Oops. I haven't done that for quite a while, actually. It's been many, many months since I've chucked everything everywhere. Right, I'll clean up my laptop a bit because that's just had an absolute shed load of water. At least I didn't break the glass. That's always good. So I'll piss that off. Okay. <laughs> right, we're back to it. Let's make sure we're the right way up. Awesome. You guys are landscape, right? Let's see what we got. Come on, get back to portrait, please. Oh, you didn't miss much. You missed me dropping you guys completely. We good? Awesome. Yeah, we are. Fabulous, because I'm good too. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have planned that better even if I dried it. That was brilliant. Okay, so we need to glue these larger elements down in place. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to use a heavy body gel. Now, if you have ever used gel medium, there are lots of different brands out there and that's the main thing um that's the main difference is your branding but also the weight of your gel so you can get it from really really fluid to really really solid now this heavy body gel is quite solid you know it's how do you it's like set jelly like heavy set jelly i'm going to pull some out here there just like heavy set jelly that just wobbles around in your finger um the sort of regular fluid regular or fluid it starts to get again more fluid and you might see that later on actually with some of these so i'm going to start sticking these down now this spoon is going to be the trickiest one to do and i'm going to start with it okay because i want to put a nice big blob on the back of it to help it stay in place and i'm not worried about it being clean and neat because what i'm going to do with it afterwards is use it for extra texture so that's going to struggle to hold there at the minute and that's okay because when I come off this scope I'll actually put something on there to really hold it in place but that will halt eventually it's just going to take a little bit of time um, and I'm just going to use heavy body gel for all of these and it's just putting blobs on the back in different areas to allow it to hold and a heavy body gel medium it's basically acrylic paint without any colour in it and if you've got a heavy body paint you know it's similar to a heavy body gel just with some pigment in it and um, if you've got a fluid one it's again similar to a fluid really easy it's not as complicated as it initially sounds when you start looking into it because I know I spent ages trying to figure out what gels did what um, really you don't need lots of them you just need one that's going to be a little bit heavy to glue pretty much anything um, and another that's a bit looser um, this is if you're doing mixed media by the way I use my looser ones instead of um, PVA mainly because I'm not a big fan of PVA glue it works but it doesn't hold in the same way so I'm just going to go around and get these in and yeah if you want something to stand up and be really 3D, heavy body gel is definitely the way to go for it because it's got the structure, it's going to hold, you can see it's holding up there for me quite nicely. Um, and I'll show you on one of these, I think, if I can. <laughs> right, just scrape it around the edges there just so that it's off my fingers, so it's on the actual product. And if I just lay that down, that's going to stand up because it's got all that gel behind it. If I want to press it flat, you can see I've got some of the gel coming out there um, you know I can so it will just alter um, and give you that 3d effect if you wish to have it you do not have to have it though and that's the important thing it's your art your rules it really is that simple uh, there's no magic formula it's fucking around with paint until you're happy with something um, it's being brave and that's all I do. I'm just a little bit brave with it. I 
go for it. I don't worry if it's not perfect. I play around with it. And you know, the worst that's going to happen is I loathe it and I put it in the bin. What have I lost? A few bits and pieces? Sometimes, especially for things like this where I'm using scraps and just using up bits and chunks, it really doesn't matter. So this bit needs to stand up a bit more because I'm not going to nestle it in the same way. So I need a good glob of this on the back and the higher the glob, the th more 3D you're going to get from it. So I'm literally going to sit that as best I can, come on, there, and it's going to stand up, if you like. Um, it's going to sit nice and high off the paper. Um, I've got this one here. I could leave these to just dangle down, but I'm going to want to paint them. So I'm not going to leave them to dangle down. I'm going to put a blob on the back of them and just let them go and sit there. So they're going to sit upright, slightly off the page. I'll be able to put some thread through the top of them. And, you know, it just adds a bit of extra dimension too, if it comes to it. So a little bit on the back of that one. And that one isn't going to have to sit up quite so heavily, but there we go. Now, I'm going to come down to these two little octopi here, because I've only got a small amount of space. So, I want to pop a bit of gel on the back here, and just place it on. Now that should hold, but what I can do towards the end is stitch it. So, it's not stuck to the paper, it's stuck to the fabric. And... I can put a few little stitches in it if I wish to to keep it in place and this I've got a slightly bigger piece here um, a slightly larger area I should say and I'm not worried about the gel peeking through because that's just added texture and with pieces like this you want all the texture you can get so those are the initial larger bits stuck down okay and that's where I've started now as the gel is there we go starting to dry I'm just going to quickly clean my fingers because this is the bit I hate I don't mind the sculpture medium on my fingers but having the gel on my fingers feels utterly yuck. okay so this gel needs to be allowed to dry before we start to do loads of painting or anything so when I come off the sculpt what I'm going to do I'm literally going to have this held in place I'm going to put something heavy on it just so that it holds that and that will adhere to the base and it's going right the way down with the gel so it's going to stay put but it'll just need a bit of time to get to that stage um, we've got about 10 minutes of this sculpt left so in an hour or so hello twisted um, so after my in my next scope I should I hope fingers crossed be able to pick this up and keep going that's the plan. Whether that goes according to plan or not is another kettle of fish. So I'm going to come down a level now and just put, I've got some of these art stones. Now these are by a company again called Prima Finibar. They are great for mixed media. I love these puppies. So these are just large clear stones and they will sit in places like here and just nestle in. So I'm going to use some of these now. Um, not all the big ones, I've got loads of different sizes here, so I'm just going to pull out a few of different sizes and we'll pop them around and they range in size from fairly big to fairly small. So the art block is just a group of um, basically artists who go from, it's like 7, 8 o'clock EST and we just come on and we do our thing, we do what, we make whatever we want. Like, some people do mosaic, some people do writing, some people do colouring, some people do illustration. We basically do just what's authentic to us. That's it. And um, we share our art and it's just a method of sharing and inspiring other people. Like, you don't have to get on camera but you might decide actually I want to give such and such a go or you like what such and such does so you go and have a look or you like spending time with Tom wandering around an art gallery without having to leave your living room. I enjoy that actually. Um, so I've just pulled out a few of these lovely little clear pebbles and we're going to put some of these about. So I can just tuck them in to different areas. Now I've got to be a little bit gentle because we're not fully dried yet. So I will start to knock things out of place. Again, I'm just using the heavy gel medium. I'm just going to pop him under there, squish it down a bit and that can just stay there and dry. And it's just going to be a little bit of extra texture yeah mainly art 
um, but it's art of any sort. It's not necessarily fine art. It can be like I do mixed media. It can be full blown illustration. It can just be from a coloring book as well if it comes to it. Um, I've seen that a couple of times. Basically, um, for me, it's always glue and collage because that's what I do. But you yeah. know, right? Just pop them in different places, and I can come further out. But I'm just getting slightly smaller with the texture here. Um, adding little bits here and there and just tucking them in to places. Now I'm not going to come down here with them, although I am going to put one of the larger ones in the spoon, just because I can't basically, um, and because I think that will look pretty awesome. I'm just doing a 3D piece, I'm basically playing around with scraps um, and making something out of almost nothing. So that's what I'm up to. And that's what I enjoy doing, is just making something out of recycling and different bits and pieces. Now, because this has a dip in it, I want quite a bit of gel medium in order to get that to stick. I've got so much gel medium on me now, it's starting to stick to me. So, yay, there we go. So that's going to sit in there and that's going to dry up happily. Now, I'm just going to put some of these around. So I've one at the top there. And there we go. Right, I've just got these little ones here which we're going to pop around and then we're probably going to finish for this hour and come back in an hour. Ooh, I wonder, I'll put a dinky one in there I think. Let's see, where to next, where to next, where to next? Hmm, yeah let's tuck him in there. I do like that actually, that'll work nicely. I'm just, I don't have a plan when I do these. Um, I just start playing around with things. I start messing around with paint and just seeing where it takes me. Sometimes I've been on and I've just done collage. Other times I've been on I've been properly painting things up and doing faces and stuff. And other times we've just sat and done stuff like this. It depends on what I feel like doing on the day to be honest. But your art, your rules. And that's the important bit. So I'm just going to stick that bit up there. And I think... I'll leave it there for those pebbles because there's a few of those about now and we'll have a quick clear up. Um, there we go. So I'm, I'm covered in gel medium. Now gel medium, like PVA, peels off the skin really quickly. So um, I will after this be going, this is where it drives me around the bend. This isn't, but the gel medium is driving me around the bend already. It's little Deb's creative crew. Um, so Debbie is the person who, uh, what's the word I um, want? She oversees and arranges everything. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. I'm not sure what I was going for originally. Like I say, I just go in to play around. Yeah, in the title, it's for Little Deb's Creative Crew, and I'll tell you more about that in a couple of moments. Right, I'm just going to pop, quickly tidy these away, so I've got a little bit more space now, just to pop things to one side as I need. So... There we are, come on, jiggery pokery. I suppose I could add some of these little cogs, because I do have these cogs, and I think they could look quite cool, like nestled around again. But I want, ooh, actually, yeah, they do look cool. Okay, we're going to put some cogs on it. Let's have some cogs out. I just go with the flow with it. If it takes me somewhere, fantastic. If it doesn't, ooh, never mind. All right, a couple of little cogs. I do like these puppies, they're lovely. Um, the nice thing with wood chip is you can get them all over, but I tend to dive on Etsy now, because that's where I get loads. Right, come on. Off, off, off. Okay. Right, so I've just pulled out some cogs, just because I think that one looks so cool, so I want to add a few more. I don't have really small ones apart from that one. I should have another one, but I obviously haven't for some obscure reason. So I'm going to start laying these out, just same as I did before with the octopi. Uh, but with you saying it's steampunkish, it would be fo it would be foolish not to just go for it. <laughs> oh, I'm so easily persuaded. So I'm going to just reset that a bit. That's a bit better. I don't need to necessarily use lots of these. I could just use one or two, which is probably what's going to happen because I don't think there needs to be much more than that. And, you know, I'm, 
I like it up there but it's the where do I put the rest and really I'm starting to come in a bit further in areas that really don't merit it so much so if I hide him in there that's a start I suppose maybe hide him at the top maybe but maybe not he can sit oh that could look quite cool no, I, I do like that dinky little one just in there I think just squirreled away almost oh, I'm so decisive aren't I but you know and I can lift up, tuck in, we'll get there, I'll figure it out. No idea what, but uh, it does need some up here if I'm going to do that, so I'll probably tuck that in there. That sits around. Maybe a bit spikier up there. Problem is, because these are all the same size, and I'd rather have a bit of variation in them it makes it a bit trickier to figure out what's going where. So I think what I'll do, we'll just lift that up. Now because it hasn't dried, it's all good. Just tuck that up and right in there. And that'll sit underneath this feather. And actually, that might work quite nicely. Yeah, that will. Because then you've got just that little bit peeking out. So, do I want to use any more? It's a big question, you know. Very big question. I don't think I do actually. I think we're there, to be honest. I think we're at that point where it's time to stop and let dry. Okay, so I just need to get these glued down. So again, out with the gel. Nice big blob, just on the back. We just pop them back in where we found them. And that's the thing, if you plan it out too much, it doesn't work. If you start to get a bit more organic like I have, it does become much easier to work through because um, you're just going one thing at a time and what do I want to use, oh I fancy that, will that work, all of these things and that's how I build my art. I don't go in there with a set plan. I might have a couple of points of inspiration like for this I wanted to use the octopus um, and I've got the netting so that sort of lend itself to some sort of, not quite under the sea theme but sea theme. So I'll lid back on that for now. Right guys, we are getting ready to end this particular session and I will be back in an hour when hopefully the majority of this will have dried enough for us to do a bit more on it. Um, what I'm going to do with it is just lay it down somewhere flat and I'm going to put something heavy just on this spoon here um, just to try and help it dry and stay put in one place. I may have to put a little bit of stitching through it just to hold it but that's not going to be the end of the world at all. Um, there's plenty of structure there and it will hold eventually it's just going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of jiggery pokery so whilst i wait for that to dry um i'm going to tell you where you can find me so if you want to pop over and have a look you can and more about the crew so a little deb's creative crew is basically just a group of artists who come together on a saturday and we just do an hour slot each and just show what we're doing it it really is just showing what we're up to um, what you can do not any time Bonnie any time I enjoy it and I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it so that's where you can find me and that's where you'll see the finished pieces as well so if I don't finish this tonight when it is finished you will see it there if you would like to see more of me I am Jenny and um, I um, can be found at Inky Paws Art basically um, which is basically creativity healing through creativity and just playing around and enjoying the creative process. I've currently got a quiz up at the moment to find your ideal creativity. So what's your creative Viagra? What sets your soul like? Go and check that out because it's really quite cool. And you can find that on the blog and that's at www.inkypoolsart.com. Um, and up next we have the lovely Carol. Um, it's been a while since Carol followed me um, on an art block. So she's up next. Go check her out because it's always good fun. And I will see you in an hour. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. I'll see you soon.